Welcome to Broadsword Wargaming. In this video, I'm doing something a little bit different with a vlog style board build video. Hello and welcome back. Yes, for those of you who follow the channel, I'm obviously not in my own studio here. Um, this is a little bit different. It's kind of traveling style, vlog style. I've still got several cameras because I'm at Luke's studio. Um, so it's something a little bit different for me and always learning something. But I'm going to be doing the full board build with Luke. Now he's going to do a video on the actual building of the board. I'm going to do a vlog style one of what it was like, the things we've had to do. We've kind of sort of got two days here, I think, to get this done. So we should do, seeing as we did the last massive green one in kind of two days. I mean, I'll show you that. Have, we'll check that one out there. Check out the link there. That was something different. Now this is a three foot by two foot nearly, a little bit smaller. And I've got the Sector Mechanicus frag drill, the incinerator, the conduits, and the galvanic burner, incinerator, whatever the other one is. I've got those to put together. And that's actually quite a lot to do. It's already midday and we've got the wood cut. Hopefully I can get this done in the next sort of few hours and then get it sprayed up, painted, and then we'll start on with the ball. So I'm going to show you me clipping all these bits out, filing it all down and going to show you the process. I've got some nice footage as well for that and then we'll keep logging throughout the day as the things progress. So I'll keep you on with the time and how we're getting on and I'll let you know. So I'll catch you back in a bit. As you can see, I'm spending forever cutting these clips out. Uh, I'm going to say this went on for actual hours, just cutting these scenery pieces out of the sprues. Hello again. Okay, so you saw me chopping up terrain there. Um, it's actually now 8.40 and we've been outside. We've put together a load of boards to so just frame them, not put any foam in or anything. Uh, we had some lunch, but it's probably taken me nearly six hours just to clip out the majority of these bits. And real sweat. Yeah, actually roasting. Like we're, we're sweating. It's hot today. Absolutely. Look at him. Am I in? No. No, get out. Right, it's gone now. So I'll get back to the real talk. Um, yeah. It's taken me six hours or so to clip all these out and like I've glued the main big bits together and some of the struts together, but there's actually way more terrain here than I thought there was. So for those of you thinking about doing this kind of board set, by the time you've cut out a kill team board and seen that it's like 30 inches by 22, you'll realize that the, the big drill is going to take up a majority of the board. Then I've got loads of the vents and I've got more walkways than we need, which is great. Um, I mean, that terrain cost me I think about 125, 150 quid in total. Um, so really good for that, but it's taken a long time. I've still got to like file down all the edges, take off the rest of the flash, then keep gluing the rest together. I'm not sure if we're, at this point, if we're gonna keep it sort of semi-modular, like we're gonna install the main bits and then maybe uh, make it so I can put the gantries in at different heights or different sections if for different games. I wanna, we will definitely wanna make the drill a central part of this board into a big sort of um, cavern or crevasse or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's like a big hole in the middle. So I'll actually show you now me putting together some of the rest of this train and I'll show you how big this the drill is. I mean, it's massive. It's like, what, it's two of these. All right, and then with the drill in, it's bigger than my head. It's got to be like a foot. I mean, I've got a big fat head, so um, it's at least a foot tall, I think. I'll get back to doing that. We've done the boards. I mean, it's going to be a long night. This is day one of the day one board build, so of the one day board build. I've had a few whiskeys, I'm not going to lie, but um, this, is, this is day one of the one day board build. It's definitely going to take us till tomorrow night to do. We haven't even got the foam in yet. We've done four boards though. It cost, I think, £25 for what would be four kill team boards with strips on the side and a load of offcuts. So actually pretty cheap to do these. And we're doing three mil ply with one inch beading round. So actually really good. Um, so I'll get back to doing some more of the models. I'll show you me finishing them off and cutting my fingers more. And I'll get back to you after then. Catch you in a bit. Welcome back. Okay, for me, this is a second day. This is day two of the one day Mars board build. Seems to be becoming a bit of a, of a theme really with these, but I've just finished putting together all this terrain. Uh, we dry fitted it a bit last night. We put the, made the wooden frames so we're gonna film putting the foam and the polystyrene in those. Sort of had a go with this, but I'm gonna go down and finalize it, make sure the layout's kind of how we want. 
then glue them together and spray them. So I'll show us doing that. That took forever. I mean, so I've got this couple of bits of terrain. Uh, there's loads to fill the board. Um, as far as the gantries go, I, I think we're going to put them together so it kind of has a feel where I can add on to it. So I'll fit them to the ground, and there's one bit that's double tiered. But if I want to buy more bits, you know, I could always spend another 30 quid every month or something. From that, I could sort of add another piece on, another piece on, and I could end up, if I wanted, like a multi stacked, multi layered piece, which would be quite cool. So I'll show you the terrain as is now, and I will take outside at some point in a minute and go do the board build. So I'll catch you back in a second. Oh, and one more thing, uh, do not lose these. So we went outside and we got all the scenery. We sprayed it black, then we used a red spray. Next, this was the army painter stuff. We we're gonna use a brown, but we ended up with the red because we didn't, couldn't find any brown. And then we went over it with a coat of silver over the top. It gave us a really cool result, and it was something a bit sort of rusty Martian. It wasn't too silver that it sort of shone out of the board, which is perfect, which is what we wanted. We then gave it all a big black wash. Um, Luke made up a pot of this stuff, and it's just black artist paint, some sort of thinner, things like that. I mean, check out his recipes. I'm sure you'll find them somewhere. And we just splash this all over it. We had to varnish it first because it didn't quite stick. Then actually as the night got on, we kind of ran out of time. I mean, this was the second day, so we'd run out of time by the time we got round to putting the board together. So I've got some clips here of putting the board together and the kind of stuff we got up to, trying to get it placed down, trying to glue the bits so it was all level and straight, but giving us that still semi-modular feel. And that's as far as I got in relation to doing vlog videos. Now Luke gave me some extra footage of him finishing the job off, so here's the footage for that. I think you can agree the board looks awesome. This did take us, I mean, this was a week ago. I, I, this is, what is it today? Thursday. Um, and I was there last Tuesday, Wednesday. So it's been over a week. And I know his video goes out live today. So do check that out here. That's the full in-depth board build from his perspective. But I thought it might be interesting just to see what it was like going up there to actually get on with stuff and doing things. Now I spent a lot of the time doing the terrain and I then, the second day when I put it all together, I actually sat there with the board and spent quite a while trying to lay it out so it sort of fitted well. After I left, Luke kind of did all the fine fiddly bits. We did do the rocks together and put down some of the color, but then he finished the whole job off. So I think it looks awesome and I cannot wait to get this on the channel. There will be a battle report coming very soon. I've almost finished the first edit of the first one, which I am so excited about. And the next one I'm sure will be featuring this board if it isn't a war cry thing. If you've liked and enjoyed this video, please check my links below. You can see all the Luke's APS stuff. That's the materials we use to build the board. I have an affiliate link there. I have uh, Amazon affiliate links as well. I also have a Patreon account starting up. This is just for anyone who feels, you know, they want to donate or push anything towards. It's really hard doing this on my own and I appreciate every penny that comes this way. So thank you all very much. I hope you've all enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, share, subscribe and hit the alarm bell for more videos to come. I'll catch you in another one.